All right, welcome back to Morning Lives, the Boston Davis Mean Studio, and we want to talk about sustainability of uh, young businesses. And he is an entrepreneur in the country, and he's that is of course small, and he's grown up to be one of course a celebrated uh, young entrepreneur who's doing well in his forte. And uh, as much as you're talking about business, trust me, it's not easy. And I've seen people closing businesses after three months. Because, of course, you introduce yourself from a business lady, businessman, but at the end of the day, you don't know the dynamics of survival in what you're actually dwelling in. Sebastian, yes. good morning. Good morning, how are you? Fine, thank you, sir. And yeah. uh, Karibu, sir, morning live. Thank you. And uh, when you talk about um, uh, the recipes to make this business boom, uh, I know this, it's a process, it's a yeah. journey. It doesn't just have to uh, like blossom the early days. You need to be very patient. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, the, the, the mentality of giving up also craves in. Yes, yes. But now, uh, for you as a young entrepreneur, and of course, um, someone who's kind of um, a set up a business in a modern society, yeah. how has it been for you? Well, uh, the number one thing, uh, like even when you're doing the introduction, yeah. talking about businesses shutting down, mm -hmm. I think number one is people getting into businesses because they think it's the cool thing to do. Yeah. And then now when you do that, you really don't know what to do next. Yeah. Should anything go bad? Sure. And then also the other aspect is just the dynamics of being able to diversify and understanding that this element and this element are not working and getting rid of them and then just embracing what seems uh, to work for the market. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Now, for you, how was it for you day one now you made a decision? You know, it, it has to come with a, with a thought, yeah. a decision, execution, and now you're into it. Uh, personally, I think I tumbled into entrepreneurship. Okay. Okay. Uh, I graduated in 2010. Okay. I did electrical engineering. All right. And then for the next two years, I really didn't have anything uh -huh. going for me. Uh -huh. I used to stay with my brother, I used to sleep on the couch. Uh -huh. You know, the way you decide I've graduated and I'm not going back to Shags. Yeah. So you sort of it's bank hustle, with whoever yeah. relative is sure. in, the, in sure. Nairobi. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was on the couch for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And then at that time, Facebook was sort of just getting uh, um, the uh, hype. You know, uh, guys were getting on it. Businesses were now embracing it. Mm -hmm. So I started doing it for people. Like I would go to, like for example, I'd come for you, to you uh, as a presenter mm -hmm. and ask to manage your page. Oh, ah, okay. And okay. then now I would get referrals. Oh, wow. And then at some point, wow. I had around 80 people, each wow. paying 5,000. How many? 80 people. 80 <laughs> people each paying 5,000. Yeah, but at wow. that point, it wasn't really a business because mm -hmm. I was doing it, number one, mm -hmm. uh, just for the cash. Number okay. two, I didn't have any bills I was mm -hmm. taking care of. Mm -hmm. And then number three, because now uh, there's something fancy with the uh, entertainment business. Okay. When you get drawn into it, it mm -hmm. sort of uh, takes advantage. You yes. know? So out of the 80, you'd get like 30 people or 20 yeah. are the ones who are actually oh, pay. pay. Yeah, sure. So now, during that period, Red Cross was doing something mm -hmm. in uh, South Coast. Okay. Uh, that time when there were clashes there. Mm -hmm. So I was among the people that came actually to the Boma to okay. sort of create a strategy around it. The idea wow. was okay. to okay. work with creatives mm -hmm. to sort of go and do a sensitization in the uh -huh. Machinani areas. Wow. So at that point, I met mm -hmm. quite a number of artists. I met guys from Ogopa DJs, uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Kalif Records. Okay. So I sort of shifted from doing social media management uh -huh. into artist management because oh, now okay. the relationship that I okay. had with this artist. Okay. But now when doing that, there's mm -hmm. a company that spotted me, a PR company in okay. Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And they wanted me to do exactly what I was doing, like social media management, yeah. but now under their umbrella okay. with a promise of a good salary. Mm -hmm. So see, at, at that time, I was not a business person. Mm -hmm. I actually went for the job and stopped doing what I was doing at that time. Wow, wow, okay. So now the transition came in later yeah. on when I had to quit the job. Mm -hmm. And the, actually, the same day I was going to quit, the admin guy told me, don't give me the letter to quit mm -hmm. because you're being fired. Wow. <laughs> Resignation was yeah. actually not accepted, but you yeah. have a, wow. It is, it's like, you see, when you're working in an organization, you make friends. Mm -hmm. So he told me, if you give me that letter, mm -hmm. you won't get any benefits. So just act as if you're being fired. Fired for you to get the benefits. Yeah, so I get the benefits. But I thought it's the, op it's the way other, it's, it's the other way around. <laughs> when you're fired, it's kind of different uh, compared to when you're... I resigned. was fired and I was given a two-month check. Okay. Because that is what the agreement was. Ah, okay. But now okay. if you quit... Mm -hmm. uh, that was your agreement? Yeah, okay. that okay. was the agreement we mm -hmm. had at that particular okay. time. So for the next six, seven months, I didn't really have anything going. And then now I got back into mus music business. It didn't really quite work out. And then I decided to go back to social media. But now at this point, everyone was doing it. Yes. So now the, peop the, the first person actually approached was a presenter at one of the TV stations. 
And she told me she was actually looking to quit from the TV station and get into business. Mm -hmm. And whatever I was pitching to her sounded good enough to venture into. Mm -hmm. So myself, her and a fri uh, another friend of ours mm -hmm. set up our first company. Okay. That was in 2015 now. Wow, that is now how I got into business. Uh -huh. So yeah. w what do you exactly do? Okay, at that point, we were doing mostly social media and mm -hmm. digital, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. creating a di digital presence for mm -hmm. SMEs. Currently, that's what you're doing? No, no. Okay. So at the moment, that is now a fraction of what I do. Ah, okay. Because okay. after two, three years, mm -hmm. um, we felt like we were doing different things, mm -hmm. sort of just using the account, mm -hmm. the company account or premises and assets mm -hmm. to push our own individual agenda. So okay. we went our separate ways. Okay. That is when I registered the Kenyan Entrepreneur okay. Platform, okay. which now basically does conferences, we do branding, uh -huh. we do events, uh -huh. and we also do media buying for Amazing. organizations. Amazing. Yeah. Look at your story. It's quite a journey. Yeah. Quite a journey itself. It's not even easy. It is. Like from really sleeping in coaches, yeah. um, of course, electrical engineering, but look yes. at what you're doing right yeah. now. Something very different. Yeah. And also, you mentioned uh, someone you uh, kind, uh, kind of uh, uh, refused the recognition letter, yeah. but you accepted the, the uh, termination letter. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just a journey you yes. went back again six months here it is mm -hmm. you're here wow quite something yeah. it never comes actually very easy <laughs> as right, it is right. from your story yeah. now from what you're doing i'm very sure you're working with people there's some human yeah. capital involved yeah now dealing with these people sometimes can be hectic yeah, yeah. like the employees uh, yeah 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 sure okay. yeah what do you think about now treating these people right as much as you're talking about the business themselves the yeah. business itself yeah. um the people who work for you or mm -hmm. for the organization. Yeah. How is the relationship important? Okay, so when I started out, it was just me because mm -hmm. I'm sort of uh, very hands on and okay. I micromanage. Yeah, you micromanage. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it was very hard to get people mm -hmm. to work with. Okay. But now you realize that you have to delegate, especially yeah. if you're looking to sure. expand. Sure. So after the first year of operation, I had three people and then the number has grown to 15 people at ah, the moment. Amazing. But uh, the one thing that worked for me in the PR company that I mentioned earlier was I wasn't hired because of my papers. Mm -hmm. It was purely based on what I loved doing yeah. and I could deliver. Plus experience also. Plus experience, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me at this moment, I just look at what you have because you're very practical. If mm -hmm. it's branding, it's either you can design or you cannot. If it's media buying, then that uh, goes back to the relationships that mm -hmm. we have with the mm -hmm. media houses okay. and even the company that put up billboards. Okay. If it's uh, branding, it's machinery. So yeah. if you can work yeah. with the machines, then it's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. But it also goes back to what kind of relationship we have with these people, uh, the employees, yeah. uh, and just having proper leadership structures mm -hmm. and everyone knowing this is what their mandate is and making sure there's a follow through to ensure that they deliver mm -hmm. on what they're supposed to. The talk about your paper won't give you what you really want. Yeah. Has been in town, has been in the in the latest for like let me say uh, employment uh, situation for quite some time, yeah. and I see people going to study specifics. They mm -hmm. want the specifics also in employment, yeah. but times are changing. Even, yeah. even even seeing doctors doing other things, they're sure. not even medical sure. right 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 now. Yeah. Um, you as an example, um, what can you tell other young men and women out there who are watching right now that indeed? what you're studying for, you need to have an aspect of a diverse mind yeah. that indeed you can be flexible to fit anywhere. Yeah, because I look at uh, what I studied, for example, yeah. which is electrical engineering power option. Okay. So that means heavy machinery. Yeah, yeah. But now there's uh, an element of computer programming. Mm -hmm. There's an element of even, because in as much as you're doing that, we have units on business, you yeah. have units on even environment. Yeah, yeah. But for me, I realized that even when I was in school, I was the guy that was carrying speakers from the store oh, to the auditorium yeah, when guys yeah, were studying yeah, for their papers. Yeah. So for me, from the word go, I already knew that I loved entertainment yeah, and yeah. the events element of it. It's true, right? And actually, some of the guys that I went to school with are working in companies that I, I have now on contract mm -hmm. uh, doing their corporate events. Mm -hmm. So it goes back to what you love. Studying is one thing. If you are going to school to study, for example, law because you're passionate because, uh, on a certain elements of law, mm -hmm. then that's fine because you'll follow through with yes. it. If yes. you're going to school to study, uh -huh. the people who go to school to study sort of general topics, so when they come out, they can land in any mm -hmm. industry. So mm -hmm. they just have the paperwork so that they can say, um, I graduated, yeah, I went to sure. a higher uh, institution of higher learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in terms of, uh, like that, I think last, late last year, early last year, yeah. the number one most paid YouTuber was, I think, a 10-year-old. Wow. 
Yeah. So oh. there are actually with the internet and uh, mobile phones, more and more opportunities have, <laughs> have come into play. Mm -hmm. Even even locally, look at the guys who are now called influencers. Yeah. Basically, just using their phones or their mm -hmm. cameras mm -hmm. to create content it's because so there are industries that will never fail. Mm -hmm. Food. Uh, beverage, medical, uh -huh. um, entertainment, music, uh -huh. they'll always have a market. So if you have an interest in that, then you can always innovate, regardless of whether you studied for it or yeah. not. Yeah. yeah, amazing. Now, let's go back to business. Yeah. This is where, of course, our, our core discussion is today. Yeah. Um, young people, we mentioned when you started this conversation, young people kind of uh, um, dwell into business, but yeah. still sustainability is not really achieved. They yeah. give up so fast. Three yeah. months, four months, they shut it down. Mm -hmm. Now, um, there must be something you inculcated into your um, system that you knew this one will actually pro pro propagate me or pro propel me yeah. um, into into like a, a success. Yeah. Uh, what were some of these things? Because sometimes we want to open businesses, we don't know how to operate well. Yeah. What are these things? Uh, the number one thing that actually shifted for me because I realized that sometimes you underquote your services. Yeah. So the number one thing that sort of even at the moment still plays in my head, is when I was employed at that particular time. Mm -hmm. uh, my boss had a very unorthodox way of <laughs> making you see the value of the work okay. and making sure that you're not scared of money. So she okay. would come with a million shillings okay. in cash just for you to hold it. Okay. Like that sort of plays a role in how you think <laughs> because um, even when we were doing our quotes initially, she'd let you do a quote. Say, for example, you're in charge of setting up for an event, an, an, a client's event, and she'd want to see how you quote, um, like you do the pricing yeah. of the services that yeah. you're going to offer. Mm -hmm. So because I'm from the streets, you know, when you're doing these things without a very formal structure, you're from the streets. So uh, I knew where I'd get, for example, a Canon 5D camera at 5,000. Yeah, yeah. I knew where I could get like That's a hiring. Car, but yeah, yeah, hiring. Yeah, okay. Because you, uh -huh. as an yeah, as an event, yeah, I was energy. wondering, <laughs> I cannot mark 3, 5D for no, no, 5,000, no. Bob. If you're oh. if you at agency, you're yeah. what you do is you hire equipment uh -huh. Uh -huh. and come and set up yeah. and return. Yeah. So you're yeah. basically facilitating this event. Okay. So in my head, I thought under quoting these things would make them see that I actually, I'm actually bringing value. Mm -hmm. And then that quote would be turned upside down. And the canon that we are getting for 5,000, we had actually charge the client 80 or 100,000. Okay, okay. And then there's one thing that she said, uh, we are not charging for the equipment. If they wanted the equipment, mm -hmm. they would actually go and hire. Okay. What we are charging for is our expertise uh -huh. in understanding what the concept is and mm -hmm. translating it mm -hmm. into an actual event. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just understanding what your value is, yeah. is number one. Mm -hmm. uh, you might be charging 100,000 for a service. Someone else is charging 10,000. Yeah. But two, three years down the line, they'll actually come back to you if you're it's actually delivering. Yeah. Even in seeing jobs, I'm sure as a presenter, you yeah. get a lot of yeah, these uh, offers. Sure, sure. If you just say, I charge to 50,000, mm -hmm. and that is what happened even in the music industry, yes? Artists were being paid 20,000, 30,000. Mm -hmm. And then one day they just decided we want to be paid 500,000. But see, in unison, you can just decide yeah. on your own. Yeah. But now, if you are, for example, in the event mm -hmm. space, mm -hmm. or you, you do, like for example, if we are to, to do an event for you, yeah. we actually do an animation of how the event will uh, look. Okay. Not everyone is doing it. Yeah. So it would make no business sense for us to charge yeah. as someone else who's not giving you it's the true. visualization it's true. of the event. So, in short, yeah. what you're trying to tell us is um, as much as you've set up a business, this yeah. competition, yeah. you have to go a notch higher in terms of yes. quality and price. Yeah. Also, which yeah. is actually a very big determinant. Yeah. Now, for someone who doesn't have a network, you know, network is very important. It is. You can set a business without a network. Mm -hmm. Now, what's your, what's your best advice? Okay, there are two ways. There are businesses that you need networks for, mm -hmm. and there are businesses that you just need to be addressing a need. Yeah. Uh, I usually go back to the basic needs that we were taught in primary: yeah. food, shelter, and clothing. Yeah. Those businesses will always have customers coming in sure. because people have to eat. I'm a, I'm a mamboga that is. Uh, situated outside your gate will mm -hmm. always have a client. It's true. Someone who's selling Mutumba in Gikomba will always have a client. Mm -hmm. Someone who's building houses yeah. or even selling Mabati, yeah. they'll always have business. But if sure. you're looking for a business that needs networks mm -hmm. in terms of maybe you need to have high-profile people attending that event, yeah. Yeah. 
number one thing is, and that is one of the reasons why we, we do the entrepreneurship conference mm -hmm. every quarter is to go to these events because mm -hmm. these people are there just understand the people that you want to relate to okay and understand where they hang out and make that your hangout uh -huh, uh -huh. and then be a very approachable person and just interesting to out. interesting yeah. now you've mentioned uh, food clothing of course shelter yeah. basic needs yeah. but look at the image mm -hmm. you might be sleeping well you mm -hmm. might be of course full yeah. Shiba, yeah. then of course uh, you've dressed well. Yeah, that's a part of the clothing. Mm -hmm. But look at your image also. You can't dress well and be shaggy at the same time. Yeah, yeah. that is why now mm -hmm. uh, the cosmetics business is all the big I was type. getting there now. Yeah. That's the cosmetic industry, yeah. salons, yeah. Kinyozi. Yeah. These guys are really uh, making a kill out true, here. True. And maybe um, for the business ideas out here, uh, you've mentioned um, food industry, clothing, of course, shelter, uh, contractors, everything. Yeah. Right now, the beauty industry is yes. doing very well. Business ideas, as far as now a young man and a woman is concerned, yeah. what are some of these ideas you can actually just um, uh, maybe just put forward for us to know indeed that you guy you can actually uh, concentrate here and I'm very sure you'll really uh, bloom there. Okay, so uh, yesterday we were actually having a conversation with some friends of mine. Okay. And for example, if I, were to, I was to ask you, can I mention business names? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. If I was to mention Java, what would mm. come to your mind? <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, the coffee. Coffee, yeah. KFC. Uh, chicken. Um, what else? BAT. Uh, just cigarettes. cigarettes yeah. 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 So th what these guys have done, if you look at most of the franchises, they have special, they are known for one thing. Yeah. Our problem is we want to do everything. Yeah. So I was even looking at um, like chicken, for example, mm. or mm. one of uh, even our staple foods. Mm. There's no one restaurant that has made it a brand and actually pushed it as a name. Mm. Like if you go to town, you'll yeah. find Swahili, Swahili foods. Do you have a restaurant whereby guys are just specialized in Ugali? Kupika Ugali. Unajitu ile kona yangu ni Ugali. Do you have a restaurant whereby guys are just specialized in Ugali? Kupika Ugali. Unajitu ile kona yangu ni Ugali. But at that time, at KFC, yeah. they also have other things mm -hmm. that they sell. Yeah. So now but everything the, the else becomes a known for, Yeah, yeah sure. it becomes okay. the person known for. Even mm -hmm. chapatis. Yeah, if you look at uh, what is it called? Uh, the problem is we are always thinking of creating the next Facebook, okay. the next Uber, the next whatever, you know. <laughs> okay. Yet, kuna watu wanalalanja. Yeah. Imagine the guy that sells chapati for mm -hmm. stage mm -hmm. every morning when you're going to work and yeah. they sell it for 10 bob. Mm -hmm. And they are pushing maybe 300 or 400 chapatis a day. Yeah, yeah. If they yeah. could only have, like a, a space in town. Yeah. Enye unajua, mi nafanya job tao. Summer prime, huh? But kuna kwanga na chapo za mbao pale. Yeah, by the way. Na dondo ya tenbo. It's true. Because even these guys that wear suits and go to work, say it wako na domingi ya kuspend. It's true. That is it's why really office delivery za chakula mm -hmm. na kwanga na market. Mm -hmm. So are you confident that indeed guys will now kind of, uh, you know, uh, for you, you had uh, electrical engineering, yeah. you went into like uh, entertainment and PR. Mm -hmm. do, do you feel like demystifying the fact that we need to just to settle down in white collar jobs is ending? Because sitting behind a desk and you can't even afford some things, yeah. do you think it's ending? For me, um, and I, I'll use my personal experience to answer that question. Okay, okay. Uh, when I finally got my own company okay. and I, I had guys working for me, mm -hmm. the fun was walking in and seeing guys working for you and just okay. walking into your cubicle okay. because okay. we have like an open plan kind yeah. of setup. But later on you realize I actually quit my job because of just sitting here. I'm mm -hmm. not really living, I'm not mm -hmm. really uh, experimenting. Yeah. And I credit that to the fact that we were not taught to be producers, but consumers of products. Okay. Yeah. That's why you have companies that now are creating uh, products okay. from the Kenyan market, yeah. like uh, Marini, for example, yeah. in cosmetics. Yeah, sure. Our executive water, yeah. Uh, yeah. When you for, I think Annalisa Mugai. Yeah, sure. And then the Sar Organics, they're mm. actually using Zile They're just finding a way to commercialize it. Commercialize and make it even more modernized. Yeah, also. they just find a way, okay. a very okay. good guy to do the branding. Mm -hmm. And then they make it a, a shelf product. Wow. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Thank you so much, Sebastian, for thank coming. You, thank you. Thank you. Studio. Me. And uh, we, I've learned a lot, basically. And I uh, hope very soon I'll be a potential businessman. I <laughs> uh, believe uh, uh, the likes of George Raro, uh, director here, just... Yeah. <laughs> Before you go, I have a question for you. Yeah, sure. Why is it that people in media, mm -hmm. every time they leave, mm -hmm. they always call themselves communication strategy? Because uh, you're communicators.
<laughs> so that becomes like the default setting. Okay, I think I think the reason why the, we call ourselves communication strategies is because now our foundation yeah. of the industry is basically um, uh, our from from networking yeah. to actually now linking people to their to their niches. Mm -hmm. What I think like the strategy is it's easier for a media personality to fit out there as yeah. a strategist yeah. than any other person because now you've done this thing for so long yeah. and you know the dynamics of op op operandi mm -hmm. in all mm -hmm. these industries. Yeah. So for me, I think that's the reason why. In fact, all of them actually. Yeah. All I do not have a problem with the name. Mm -hmm. The problem I have is that is the only thing they always go for. Okay, okay. Very few will start doing something, something that is else. Totally different. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to do something different. Thank you so much <laughs> for that. It's an idea. My name is Nick Modimba. <laughs> have yourself a good day. And of course, you someone is coming up next with Full Circle.